Oh boy. All right, everyone. Hello, and welcome back to Taito Ecology, where Siri has been sitting on the edge of her seat watching not Kansas load for like the last five minutes. All I can hear is ping, 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 as who knows what is going on inside of the game. I have no idea if not Kansas is actually going to be alive and survive the deer mouse apocalypse. <gasps> We're in. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we actually got in. Okay. All right. Things are alive. <gasps> Things are slow, but alive! You guys! What happened? All right, yes! Groups of deer mice have died. That is what we want to see. How did the garter snakes die from stuffing themselves too much with too many food, like too many mice? Because there's just so much. Uh, deer mice, garter snakes died. Why are my snakes dying? They should have plenty of food. Were they getting eaten by something? Why, 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 why would they die? Because they starved to death? Oh my goodness, did I add too many snakes? Is that the problem? They starved to death? All right, so we lost a lot of groups of mics, you guys. I have no idea how many. We have a ton of grass, so we might still have like a grass overpopulation problem. <gasps> mice! Oh my goodness! <laughs> you guys, I don't know about this. The march of the mice continues. Look at them. Look at them. This is still terrifying. This is still one of the most terrifying things I've ever seen. Watching all of the teensy little mice march this way. Look at my poor, there's a grass that just has like stuffed mice, like dead mice everywhere. Are you dead? No, there's a very happy rattlesnake. He should have plenty of food over here. It appears the deer mice have spread over to this spot. They have 88 juveniles. <laughs> They have 88 juveniles. Let's see how the territory has done since the deer mice apocalypse. Uh, we opened everything up last time. I think this was the section that used to have all of the deer mice. And that was just three months ago in the game. And already it appears to have recovered very well, actually. I'm quite surprised. So the grass has come back in. Uh, we have some coyotes. We do have some happy rattlesnakes. It seems like they have just enough food. Has everything, has everything balanced out? Is everything actually going to be okay? The jackrabbits have babies and they fall inside the coyote territory. So that's good. We still have, it looks like the deer mice have just trickled. It's really hilarious because they all used to be more up here towards the top. So it looks like the deer mice populations continued to kind of segment and break apart and they have escaped. They have actually left the area where there used to be so many snakes. And it looks like they have trickled their way down over here. Darn, why are all my snakes dying? My snakes shouldn't be dying like this. So we still have way too many deer mice down here. So I think we need to add in, uh, I mean, the snakes are already there. More snakes? Let's see. There's only four deer mice here. There's only three here. There's a whole bunch of dead ones here. How many dead deer mice do we have? There's so many deer mice. But there's not nearly the apocalyptic levels of deer mice that we had last time. So that makes me pretty happy. All right, you guys. The biodome's health is still somehow really high. And now we're going to zip around in owlbot mode, actually. And we're just going to appreciate uh, a little bit up higher because otherwise I'm going to get totally lost. Uh, oh, and we have a whole bunch of deer mice over here. So there are 79 juveniles. We're going to have to be careful. But we should have a very happy fox population. So we apparently are missing mama or papa fox. But we have three juveniles. So they should be okay. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. I thought we were all right. We're not all right. The deer mice are just like, they're spreading and escaping the containment zone I thought we had them in. Oh no. Okay, so actually the deer mice population has just kind of shifted over here. Still too many of them. Still very concerned about this. Um, the garter snakes don't seem to be doing much other than dying, which is not helping me. They're extra small carnivores because they're very small. And, uh, fun fact, they're actually some of my favorite ones to catch. I wonder if a new red fox population would help out, but I should probably put them kind of far to the edges. I feel like they're not going to help out fast enough. So there's a few deer mice over here. There's a few over here. There's 52 over here. So, oh no. Are they like eating my tree? Are they eating? Oh, they're eating my switchgrass to the ground. So they're slowly but surely like eating all of the switchgrass. So I think I need to put like another red fox population. We kind of want them to have a big zone, but then I don't know if the foxes are actually going to do anything useful. Who is the best to eat deer mice? In your guys' opinion, who have you had the most luck with when it comes to getting the animals to eat deer mice? Um, whoops, let's go ahead. I have one garter snake over here. I don't know, what does he eat? 
I'm going to see if I can find my one garter snake and follow him for just a moment. Because I need to see who's actually eating the mice. Hey, there's a frog. Hey, little buddy. Nice to see you. I need to figure out who's actually going to eat these mice. Is that a baby badger? That's adorable. How old are you? Oh, it's a 49-week-old baby badger. <laughs> uh, the badgers seem to be doing fantastic. For some reason, they make rattlesnake noises. Am I on top of a rattlesnake? I should probably be concerned about being on top of a rattlesnake. But honestly, the rattlesnake should be more concerned about, like, all the food everywhere. So, let's see. Then we have jackrabbits all over the place. Dead deer mice. Oh, no. No wonder the poor jackrabbit. He's like, I just want some grass, but the mice are eating all of it. Okay, so we still need to do something about this problem. I just have no idea what. Release the snakes? All right, let's try following the snakes for a minute. I guess it's not going to help to try following them when they're not hungry. Um, darn. What's the best way to get rid of all of the mice? Let's try adding in like a lot of garter snakes, I guess. Seeing if that helps. We'll start just releasing. Okay, I'm just going to start releasing a whole bunch of snakes again. So, saved by snakes is our goal. Ooh, look at all those buffalo. Watch out! Don't don't get trampled by the bison. <laughs> Hang in there, my little snakes. All right, so what are the snake populations who are not directly in mouse territory? They're doing pretty good. Our honeybees over here are doing pretty good. Lucky for them, because the deer mice coming through can just destroy everything. Oh, it looks like the bison. Is he coming over to eat the skunk bush? Maybe. So we should also see how the bison population is doing. It's uh, got four individuals in the group. Is that how many they started with? I feel like they started with more. Do I have a report? I just have reports of deer mice everywhere. Um, prairie dogs did die, which sort of surprises me. A group of red foxes is starving. How did that happen when there's so many deer mice? Do they not eat deer mice? Hmm. Do they eat... Do the bobcats eat deer mice? Okay, I'm going to try adding in some bobcats. Um, we already have bobcats. I have a bobcat population right over here. How are they doing? Doing very good. <gasps> they're going to have babies! You guys, they're going to have babies really soon. We might have some baby bobcats born pretty soon. Um, coyotes are doing really well. Proghorns are jumping around. Let's see. That is a fox right over here. And he's hungry. Okay, let's see what the fox is going to go eat. Because I think that's going to be kind of important to see. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, Fox? He vanished so quickly. Oh, there he goes. Okay, quick. We've got we've to hunt him down. and Well, not hunt the fox, but like we've got to keep track of him. See what he goes for. So there's a bunch of snakes. I think the snakes are stuffing themselves absolutely full on food. Where'd the fox go? Is that him? No, that's a proghorn antelope. That is a snake. What was the alert about? Hmm. Okay, got to go all the way back up to the top. And let's check the alert again. Go, 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 go. Oh my gosh. So much death. So much death everywhere. Why? There we go. A group of garter snakes has died. Did that fox just come over here and eat my garter snakes? Is that what happened? He was a hungry fox. Okay, was it you? Okay, this fox is hungry. And I found him. He's walking past so many gorgeous mice. Don't tell me you're going to try to eat this guy. That's going to be a little bit of a meal for you, sir. So you should not try to eat that guy. That guy is for wolves. I'm trying to get many, many bison born so that we can add in some wolves. Okay, there's a prairie dog. Come on, eat the mice. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. I'll name you Todd after Fox and the Hound. I loved that movie as a child. Oh, jeez, help. <laughs> the lag is starting to come back. Come on, eat the mice. Because this is interesting. This is a very hungry fox. I would think... Is he eating the mouse? Tell me you ate that mouse. Because I'm really desperate for you to eat the mouse. Okay, is he hungry? He's he's full. Uh, I have no idea what he ate, though. He has consumed something. And I'm just going to assume that it was a deer mouse. Because there's a dead deer mouse over there. There's just dead deer mice everywhere. Who knows? Oh, look, there's a baby fox. Oh, he's so cute. Hi, little guy. What are you eating? How do I check on you? It's so hard to check on him because he's just like disappears into the grass in seconds. So I think this is like the adult fox we just saw. And then I know we just saw that baby fox. Where'd he go? Because we have three juvenile foxes roaming in this territory. If they're eating the deer mice, that makes me happy. 
All right, so a group of ants has died. The deer mice are coming for everyone. Maybe it would start being safe to put into some ants and other things back over here now that we have less of the mouse explosion issues. So the poor ants can start returning to their little like scavenging spots over here. I might even be able to get a population of honeybees to survive. It's very interesting how quickly the grass really recovered and that these common milkweeds didn't really seem to be that affected by all of the chaos of the mice coming on down. So maybe the uh, prairie dogs will benefit from this. So let's try putting some prairie dogs in here. Maybe like a small colony. We'll put like three colonies down and we'll call that like one big colony right here. And we'll see if that helps them out. All right, who's, who's this? This is a coyote. Did I just make him very happy because he wants like a prairie dog meal? <laughs> that kind of sounds like getting like a, a happy meal or something like that. Prairie dog meal. All right, so let's check the proghorn antelope populations as well. So let's go over, they're actually located, their, their territory marker is located way on the other side. Ooh, so this Western sand cherry is being nibbled down. Look at all the mice. Ugh, I really hope we'll be able to contain the mice, but at least the worst of it seems to be over. All right, so where are your territory markers, you guys? Wow, I think I need to add in more bison. All right, so. This one says there's 10 of these guys roaming around right now over here, 10 over here. So I think that they haven't really reproduced yet. And it looks like as far as the grass, the grass is spreading really well on its own. So the buffalo grass is spreading and the switch grass is spreading. And it looks like over here, go the lullabot, go zoom, 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 zoom. It looks like over here, the big sagebrush is actually spreading because it has 1,596 days before it'll reach maturity. Yes, we have managed to get rid of another group of deer mice. <gasps> wow, and look at how far the grass has spread over here. So yeah, the grass is spreading in on its own. I think I'm just gonna sit back and let that happen. It looks like all three of the different types, the buffalo grass, the blue gramba grass, and the switch grass has spread on its own. Who's that? Who's that? Hey, who are you? Man, they vanished so quickly into the... They just vanished so quick into the grass. There are you. There are you. There are you. What? There it, that it is. And it's a coyote. Oh, and there's like another coyote. And what are you going for, coyote? Oh, jeez. Every time there's some lag, I'm like, no, not the mice. All right. Coyote decided that the prairie dog was delicious. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's full now. So I'm pretty sure that coyote just ate a prairie dog. So the prairie dog populations seem to be affected by the coyotes really, really quickly. Yeah, look at that, there's another dead prairie dog. So that may be why, <gasps> no, a group of deer mice has just split. Where, in what zone? In zone two? All right, so we're in zone one right now. Oh no, that means the juveniles grew up. <laughs> No, I think we just had like a split over here. Good, these guys are starting to starve to death. As terrible as it sounds, we're getting desperate. Oh, there's so many juveniles again. Okay, quick, Um, we need more snakes, I guess. Are, is, are my snakes eating well? Uh, I have two garter snakes. I have four rattlesnakes who are completely full, more or less. Well, no, they're actually, their health is dropping. Let's see if we can follow a hungry rattlesnake around. 91. Okay, this one's the hungriest rattlesnake I've seen. So before I add in more snakes, I need to see if this is actually working, if they're actually going for the deer mice. Because it'd really suck if they're like, oh, look at the, the, the jackrabbit, though I've never seen a snake eat like a jackrabbit, at least in the wild. So I'm not sure if that's what you'd be going after. All right, who's the hungriest snake? I, I need, for scientific purposes, I need to follow the hungriest snake. All right. He's wiggling. There is an antelope. Just, oh, apparently there's, is, am I just looking at the same rattlesnake? You know, you guys, I'm beginning to wonder if the reason the mice are enduring longer than the rattlesnakes is because, or like faster than the rattlesnakes can eat them, is because the rattlesnakes don't move very quickly. Also, it's kind of funny how the antelope like snooze everywhere. Oh, this is so hard to keep an eye. I want to look down, please. See, and now uh, I really, I am a little bit concerned how quickly that rattlesnake vanished. I should not have problems keeping an eye on a rattlesnake. That sounds like a very dangerous proposition. All right, so he's taking a nap. And this one's hungry too. Oh, that one, that one looks like he's hungry as well. So they're doing something. 
I have some rattlesnakes up to something down here. But this is not towards... This is not towards the direction I thought they would take. Alright, well there's tiny mice. Is that- wait, is that a little baby rabbit? <gasps> Hang on now. Is that a little baby rabbit? <gasps> you guys, it's a little baby rabbit! Oh my goodness, it's so cute! That's adorable. Alright, well, I'm not sure if the snake thing is working. I feel like the snakes aren't really doing anything to the population whatsoever. And now I'm just sort of stuck here, waiting for the mice to starve. Huh. Well, are you gonna come eat? Alright, this guy is literally the hungriest guy. He's clearly more agitated <laughs> than any of the other snakes we've seen. He's hoofing it. He's doing something. Tell me he's headed straight for this mouse. Mouse, I think your end is near. Very near. Kind of slow. Come on. Come on. Well, now his hunger is 100%. And the mouse is just continuing on? There's no justice in this world. What? What? Alright, I don't know what that's about. I think I'm just gonna have to cross my fingers and hope that everything works out. Um, I think the other thing I kind of want to work on right now is... Let's see, Proghorn Antelope populations seem to be doing okay. They're not really close to reproducing, but they seem to be doing okay. And I kind of want to get like some prairie dog populations uh, happily scattered through the grasslands. And we'll give them some time. How long does it take them to reproduce? So it takes them a little over a year before they're ready to start reproducing. So I'll put down a few populations. Because it looks like we can definitely support a whole bunch of small herbivores with how much grass we have. And then I would also like to put in... Oh, look at all of the antelope roam. So beautiful. I would also like to put in maybe some more bison. So I kind of want to put them down where the grass is like thickest. And I think the bison have a huge range. And I have so much grass that I'm pretty sure we'll be safe putting some bison in. Now you can see where the deer mice are. <laughs> and they're destroying- <gasps> Did they eat my big tree? Did they eat my big tree? You guys! They ate my big tree! The deer mice just ate my giant tree! They- they killed- look at- look, look at them! They just ate my giant tree! <gasps> I am so offended right now. I'm going to- I'm, I'm smacking a bobcat down right on top of you. Go kitty! <laughs> Eat them! <laughs> Don't you dare run off to your next target! I- they ate my giant tree! Whoa! And the grass just spread in front of our eyes. Oh my gosh. Holy days. Wow. Okay, hi. All right. Great. That means more food for them. How am I going to handle the deer mice population? They just ate my giant tree and all of the grass just immediately grew in place. I have no idea how I'm going to like bring them under control. This is just going to be... Uh, this is just going to be... I don't even... I don't even know. I don't even know how to properly express how frustrating and terrifying and yet amazing in its own way this is going to be. But they just ate my gigantic beautiful tree that has been like... The cornerstone of not Kansas since we started. So, huh. All right. I'm still thinking of ways of trying to make it more interactive where you guys can, like, leave a really cool fact and then, like, the animal you want. So, for today's episode, how about this? For the next time we are in not Kansas, um, I will take... Oh, there we go. I will take... One of you guys at random, just leave a comment about a cool fact, a real fact. It helps if you even cite your sources just to prove that it's a real fact. But leave a cool fact about some of the animals that we have here or the grasslands of North America or grasslands wherever you live. And then one of the creatures you would like to see in the grasslands. And then I will just roll a random generator like from 1 to 10. And then we'll put in however many groups the random generator picks of the animal that you have chosen. Keep in mind, if you choose something like a big earth 
herbivore or a big carnivore because we're going to add in like a random influx of population you could completely destroy the entire not kansas area if say you picked nothing but wolves and they could just like destroy everything but we'll just have to see how things go so we're going to try out just some more interactive ways of tossing in what you guys happen to suggest and if you guys have any advice for how to start managing our dill mouse population issues please let me know i'm a little bit worried uh, they, they, I mean, look at this. You can see them destroying. How are you starving? How are you starving, rattlesnakes? There's so much food. There's so much food. It's not my fault you're too far away to reach it. Oh, no. And we'll just have to figure out what to do. We'll just, uh, I don't even, I don't even know. So yeah, you guys let me know what you guys think we should do. And if you would like, you can leave a, a comment with something that you really happen to love about grasslands or a cool fact about grassland animals or plants. And then an animal from the grasslands area. And then we'll just kind of add in a random number from one to 10 of those animals. And we'll have to see how it affects our entire biodome. So fingers crossed that the mice population will get under control. And I can't believe they just ate my tree. I'm really mad about that. I'm gonna throw so many bobcats at them. That's the only solution I can think of right now. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.